little little yeah, funny little things we discover along the way. All right, folks, we're back. And uh, speaking of movie stuff, so you know what recently got a new trailer? What did? They put out a new trailer for Lightyear. Huh. And now you see, I was already hyped for this movie. And they just pulled another wave, like, right out of me. It's like what? that what they... It's like that thing of, like, oh, stop, stop, I can only get so erect. <laughs> Wait, what'd they reveal? Oh, my God. Okay, so first of all, they've can They've all but confirmed... Oh no. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm really, really, really mad. <laughs> Do you guys see that? <laughs> oh, the camera's finally working. Oh, cool. Uh, or the, the video's finally working, but I don't know if I saw what you were referring to. So, are, they, are you getting sucked in the whirlpool? The soul got sucked in the in the whir whirlpool, yeah. The soul? Oh, it was just floating there and it just got sucked in? Or? Well, yeah. I guess that's one of the ones we won't get. Yeah. Yeah. Did oh. we get all of them in the first level? No, we got like 99% of them. Okay, so... Because we can miss out on, what was it, like 30 souls in total? Something like that. I've been pretty good at getting most of them. It's going to be funny that you like you don't have all the souls, so that when you resurrect Liangar, he's like missing an arm. Well, they actually they had a uh, they had a SML did a video like that where it's called uh, Mr. Chef Pee Pee Head, where they threw him in and they like they accidentally pushed him into the oven with these bacon potatoes and it turned him into Mr. Potato Head. And how the hell am I supposed to get up? Oh, I see, I see how. But yeah, so it turned him into Mr. Potato Head, and in order to, in order to turn him back, they just need to have all the pieces and then put him in the in the fridge that way he cools off but he only had they only had an hour to do it or else he's not a hot potato anymore and uh the only problem is they threw him into the ceiling fan so he was missing like all of his pieces and they unfortunately didn't have t they got everything back except his arms so they put him in the they put him in the fridge and then chef pp just had like no arms he can't cook with no arms well that was yeah that's what happened Yeah, I love, I, he always got the nice short end of the stick. I love that one where he like finally snapped when he got like the lotto ticket. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that's a that's an oldie. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm sure they released a bajillion SML videos. Oh yeah. Last check Did you know that they don't they can't use the Nintendo characters? They they don't use the Nintendo characters anymore. Oh really? Yeah. Now they have like original oh. puppets of all their characters. So we don't have the the. The sniveling voice of, uh, uh, oh no, we don't have the Bowser Jr. Well, yeah, the, the voices are still there. It's just not Bowser Jr. anymore. Now he's just Jr. So it's not the puppets. It's just different names. They just made a, a brand new puppet. Brand new puppets, slightly different names. They changed around, like, Jr. Well, yeah, J it's not Bowser Jr. It's just Jr., Bowser, they don't, they, they, he doesn't have a name anymore. Now he's just boss. And then, like, uh, what's his name? Um, Mario is now Marvin. And then Rosalina is now just Rose. Which I, I feel like. Was an o. What? Or they could have gone with Nintendo did this in the Paper Mario games. Some characters call Mario Marty O or Maria. Huh. They don't hear him right. That would have been funny. <laughs> like there's there's a specific elderly character. They should have called him Marty O. <laughs> but isn't there like you can't do like some sort of it, like there is like parody law not a thing anymore? I don't know. I think it's plus like uh Nin like not Nintendo's been on their ass and also like YouTube's been on their ass for like ever. Which is just unfortunate, because I really like them. <laughs> hey guys, I'm turning him into, uh... Oh my gosh, what's that one guy's name from My Hero Academia? The one with the fire beard? 
No, uh, Endeavor. Endeavor, yeah, I've turned him into Endeavor, and he's dead. <laughs> you create a giant forest fire, just like Endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm <Man>. so relatable. <laughs> All those tiny little things make up a lion. Yes. <laughs> Collect them all. Leomon. Leomon. You said like that. Like that's not a Digimon. Is, is it actually? Oh it my actually God, is. He is he? Yeah, Leomon. Yeah, then he. But okay, here's the thing. Most Digimon, like they would look like some like some beast or something. But that one's like literally just a lion. No, no, that one's yeah. the one that's a lion man. It and Leomon. Yeah, he's like God. human. Yeah. He's got like a little uh, uh, metal bracelets or whatever. Yeah, he's got a sword too. <laughs> I think yeah. he died at one point. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yes. Multiple yes. times, yeah. kind of. It was, uh, was, was supposed to be sad or something, I don't you, know. <laughs> you can't stop this man from dying. So wait, is this whole Forgo thing, this is just like a dream illusion thing, or this is like the real Forgotten Land that went, like, full into chaos or whatever? I, don't, I think we're, like, inside Leongar's mind or something? Or it's, like, a different dimension? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Clearly the spikes are too powerful. <laughs> Baked hedgehog. He's too spiny, we just can't do anything. Oh, wow, what a prick. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ha <g> ha <laughs> Have you guys seen the uh like the dorkly video like, like if villains were actually smart and like the robotnik one was like yeah i stopped using metal that was weak to hedgehog quills yeah also i took all the rings out of the area before you got here and then he's like huh and then he's, he's about to squish him yeah. i like the uh what if every villain had an assistant with uh robotnik it's just like uh why do you keep kidnapping forest critters? <laughs> Stop doing that. It just draws too much attention to you for the from the blue hedgehog that moves at supersonic speed. Well, you see, but you see, I need to get the chaos emeralds and the and the chaos emeralds can only be navigated by a hedgehog. And what's that? Oh, that's just my hedgehog robot. Oh. <laughs> So, I, I remember that series. I love him. Mike? Oh, can you no longer hear me? I heard. I, 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 we cut you cut out again. Ah, dang it. It was just for like a second or two. Yeah. No, I have to check what I say because maybe what I'm saying is too offensive. <laughs> Your FBI <laughs> agent is right. like, bruh. Your microphone. <coughs> well, I keep getting well, he disabled voice activity detention to improve performance, even though you're kind of ruining performance by doing that. <laughs> Interesting. That's okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Are we fine, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> That's the what I think if the uh, I don't know why because probably we're in a carnival level, but I think if uh, COVID's being lifted or we're in a better place, I do want to go back to like some fairs or whatever. Oh yeah, that was one of the things I missed. That's one of the, I went to the Wisconsin State Fair last year and it was a blast. No, was, it, was that the one with the that was the near Green Bay or something? Yeah, I think so. You were yeah. there last year. Uh, yeah, I think it's been a long time since I've been to the state fair, and my family was never the type to go. It might be a fun thing to do with friends, though. Yeah. I I do like the Renaissance Fair is another thing. Ren, Ren Fair is really cool. Ah, yes. <laughs> Everything's overpriced, but you get to see some cool stuff. I mean, I got some board games for about on par pricing. Oh, uh, where? I never go to the Ren Fair only because every single time they're like I, I try to like the weather is always like horrible. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I mean, I'll probably 
I mean, this, this upcoming year I'll probably go regardless, because, you know. I've gone, like, once or twice. No, what I haven't gone is to one of those, like, medieval times. When they'll have, like, those live-action night fights while you're getting to eat, like, a giant... Oh, yeah. Bronto Flintstones I dinosaur leg or something. <laughs> I went to one of those for, uh, Chris's birthday. Sorry, what? Yeah, you, you had a birthday oh, there, oh, right? Oh, medieval times? Yeah. That was a long time ago. I still remember that. And excuse me, it's... I forget if it's a, like a baby... I think it's a baby dragon leg. Oh. That's somehow worse. <laughs> or just a dragon leg. I don't know if they specify baby. Uh, yeah, be baby would be like kind of brutal. <laughs> It'd be realistic. It would, but it would still... <laughs> I feel like that would make kids cry, you know? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back in the day, I remember they were eating baby dragons all the time. <coughs> it's, like, it would yeah. make me cry. Like, I was a kid who loved dragons. Yeah. I want to yeah, you... say... My friend, uh... I've got a friend who is a pretty darn good cook. And he also has, like, a, a smoker in his backyard to smoke meats. Ah. And he made this amazing chicken this one time, and I really might just tell him to make it again, and I'll pay him. Like, <laughs> it's, if, if I remember the medieval times food right, it's, like, what it should have tasted like. It was so juicy. Mm. Like, a touch spicy, had a nice, nice crispiness on the outside. It was just so good. Huh. Nice. The meat was tender. Ugh. And you know what? The medieval Boy. time, to really fit the times, they'll refer to the COVID as not COVID. They'll refer to it as the plague to keep it, you know, that's, relevant to the time. That's funny. I mean, that'd be, that'd be, I make that joke. Would it be funny if they actually did that? Oh, I thought you were saying they do that. Funny. Oh, no, that, that, if they did that, that, that's an idea. I could pitch it to them, but... Yeah, go for it, my guy. What's the worst they can say? No. He calls the police for such a dumb <laughs> idea. Huh, I guess I guess they can say worse. <laughs> Me in court. Huh. <laughs> huh, just look at that. Now, have you seen that? What was that video? It was like the TikTok I saw where it was, you know, they'll like react to stuff. Like it'll be a guy watching a video or something. There was one where he was, a. Uh, it was a joke where it was just like, hey, they were cooked, they were washing a turtle. And I was just like, hey, they're giving the turtle a little bath. Why, why, why are they uh, peeling the turtle's shell? And next thing you know, it was like, uh, 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 like the chopped off turtle. Like they were eating, they were prepping the turtle to eat it. So they were like peeling off the, the shell. Like they'd already cut up his legs and they were like kind of cutting to like different parts of prepping the turtle. And me, him and the guy had the, me and the guy had the same reaction. We were just like horrified of what we were saying. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I'll try lots of meats in this world. I don't think I could ever bring myself to eat turtle. Yeah, they're they're sweethearts. I like turtles too much. Yeah. They're too cute. <laughs> yeah, what's it? I know what I would, would eat you? a rabbit or a squirrel, but for some reason I wouldn't eat turtle. I just Actually where where does the critters you wouldn't eat like stop? Like what what's where's the what was the line that's crossed? Well for me that's a very turtles. long that's a very long line, Mike. <laughs> I mean, Mike, you gotta name some. There's a lot of a lot of creatures out there. Horse? Like, uh... I'd try horse. Uh... Alligator. I would try alligator. Oh my god, there was... Okay, so... A year or two ago, Joey and I went to the Wisconsin State Fair, and there was this guy who was selling... He had, like, a huge... Th like, uh retro video game booth there and that's actually this is actually where i got my copy of pokemon silver before the oh. market crashed and uh joey saw they had like clock tower 3 there which is a game that he was like interesting because he likes horror games and see the thing is he didn't see it until after he had already spent his money on gate on this exotic food stand that had alligator, like, quote-unquote alligator bites and a boa constrictor wrap. Oh. 
Yeah. And, and I'm just... And... <laughs> Were they like fried alligator bites? Because if, if it's a fried exotic food, then you're not even going to taste the food. <laughs> yeah, no, it was fried. It was just... <laughs> Dang. I thought this is so much just had alligator chicken nuggets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what didn't even occur oh, to me? <laughs> what was that, Mike? I see. What didn't even occur to me was uh, uh, like, in like, well, like that time where they had us try bugs. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, we Did we? Did you guys like actually do it? <laughs> no. Mike, I, I just recently had a hamburger for the first time. Oh, did you like it? It's, a food it's fine. That I had thought was on your list, actually. Really? Yeah. My um, limit. My... Well, maybe because it was bread, meat, and cheese. Like I. Yeah, no. I just recently tried it for like the well, first time in like years, but you know, it still counts. How'd it go? It was all right. I didn't gag, so yeah. that's good. Yeah, I mean it's. Like I said, it's bread, meat, and cheese. <laughs> it's one of those foods that I'm not crazy about, but I'll eat it. <laughs> As what what aspect about it do you, I guess, not like? I don't know. I, I, it, honestly, the, the hamburger. Like, the actual, like, meat part of it. <laughs> Just because it's, it, like, it's, like, like, it's, like, weirdly bitter, you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to Where did you get this hamburger? From? I've had multiple. I've had uh, I got one the from the most recent one. Where uh, did there was you one. Get it? Uh, it was a home cooked one from uh, Cambio. He had a barbecue. Oh, don't, don't say McDonald's. Don't say McDonald's. No, the first one I had was from Culver's. Now one was okay. If it was If it was bitter, he probably just overcooked it. <laughs> Yeah, see, I've had that also, like, at, um, Jimmy's Char House, and also from Culver's, like... At best, the meat had no flavor. At worst, it was bitter. I... I think you're getting your meat overcooked. Or you're eating nope. fast food meat. Because find you a bitter, bitter, it has a... What it should be is savory. Yeah, it's meat that's like, like it sits you know. in your mouth, but not in a bad way. Uh -huh. If it's bitter, it might be like seasoning or some sort of thing. I don't know. Bitter implies either some seasoning you don't like, or because like when you think of bitter, you think of like it has a funky sort of aftertaste, right? Yeah, I think like a, a vegetable or a like bit, you know, like, yeah. You know, it's it's funny you mentioned the. The uh, the hamburger thing you're just trying it out because I just tried Red Robins. They had like this whiskey river BBQ, and it was literally like the best one of the best experiences that I'll, I'll ever have. Like my my wedding, the day of my wedding is gonna have to top that. Oh, really <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're also gonna have to talk more about meat next time.